Hey guys, so I have to make this video really quick because I gotta give these back. But I wanted to show you, for me this is a public service announcement. These are products you need to be very careful of when you go to people's homes if you have children, um, if they smoke weed, if they're pot smokers, you know who your pot smoker friends are, right? So, and your, your, your relatives, if there are any that do that, because there are in people's families. So, I wanted to start off with, these are, um, I think it's 12 products. Right off the bat, you have these Cheez-Its. They have the THC value, right? 500 milligrams, 600 milligrams. You have to be careful when you see these. Always look down here, and it's crazy that we have to even make these things because they look pretty accurate. It just, it, even on the back, the other one said that they were edibles and they showed you how, you how to use it. This one doesn't. This looks like an actual product, so be careful. Then you have these strawberry strips and they have, oh, it doesn't tell you. Oh, 500 milligrams of THC and you get a lot. So how do you know? Like, I guess you divide, you count them and then you divide it by five and you'll, each one is 100 milligrams. But as you can see, there's like oil in there. So what they do is they get these things and then they put the THC on there. As opposed to products like this that already come with it infused in the actual product. I think, I don't know, maybe they do put a powder on them. These are Cheetos. This has THC of 600. See, this one kind of tells you that they're edibles and to have one serving at a time and... But even then, when you look at this, if you're just walking by and you see this, you might just grab it or your kids might grab it, you know, at somebody's house. This is another one of like the watermelon strips. Again, 500 milligrams of THC. You gotta be careful of this stuff. And you know what? There's a lot of potheads out there. The peach rings. I'm also thinking it's 500 milligrams of THC. And you see the oil on the bottom. I would think that if you're a pothead, you're gonna wanna lick that bag, but whatever. Um, potheads have a way of wanting to see you high because they think that you would enjoy it. So they might trick you into eating this stuff and then like watch you get high and think it's hysterical. These are Oreos. I mean, on the back, clearly there's a weed leaf in the front and the back. You might think it's mint in the beginning, but this one is at least, it gives you an indication, stony, double stuff, stonio, dabisco you know, Stonio, we, like, it, it gives you some indication that this isn't real. These give you absolutely, these look exactly, I mean, this is Cheebits, but I don't think you're gonna notice it. And these other, the Cheetos are exactly the same. These Trolleys Sour Bright Crawlers, you would never know. You would literally never know. This has 600 milligrams of THC. Be very careful when you see these things, guys. For your safety and for the safety of your children, if you have any. Jolly Rancher Gummies. This has no indication whatsoever. Not on the front or the back. That's crazy. Just this little corner right here. 600 milligrams. These Ruffle Queso Potato Chips. 600 milligrams. On the back it says edibles education like the other ones, but still. This cannabis infused rice crispy treat, 1000 milligrams. That's a lot. So you're supposed to take this one rice crispy treat and cut it up into, let's say you cut it up into four sections. That'd be 250 milligrams. Most people are going to want to eat the whole thing. So you better have some other Rice Krispie Treat snacks that you're gonna eat, because if you eat this whole thing, you, you're good. You could overdose. You know, like and get the shakes. I can tell you that 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 happens. You know, people are like, oh, it's just weed. Nobody ever died from weed. No, but it does mess up your brain, and you can't get the shakes from it. And don't tell me no, because I know for a fact that if you're not a weed smoker, and like you try a puff of 950 milligram vape pen, you could sit there and have like shakes because your body is not accustomed to it involuntary shakes so be careful because not everybody is like you they haven't been smoking that long you know and th these are all like genetically modified products this is a brownie 1000 milligrams 
see how tiny this thing is? It's like the size of a brownie. So if you cut it in half, that's 500. If you cut it in fours, that's 250 milligrams, if it's divided equally. You know what I mean? So like a lot of people aren't aware of these proportions. I feel like what they should do is be responsible. And inside there should be four parts and each one that, you know, four that are wrapped and each one says 250 milligrams. That's more responsible than giving somebody an entire brownie of a thousand milligrams. So that's the last one. Those are all the products. If you guys want to, that's crazy. You have to be careful. People are going to try and like mess with you. They think it's hysterical because they're potheads. It's this stuff is not funny. I actually want to try these because I love these sour things. So. <laughs> but you see what I mean? This is how they get you into it. Oh, you don't want to smoke weed in a pen and you don't want to smoke weed in, um, what's it called? In a blunt or like, you know, a wrap or even a pipe or a bong. How about you try one of these edibles? little less dangerous try it come on no 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 guys do not trust this weed movement i mean i have a lot of knee and ankle pain so i'm gonna try those strawberry strips i'm not even gonna lie to you but just be careful be careful um this is so dangerous. It's not even funny. But I just, PSA, for you guys to see what's going on, because this is crazy.